Hello, I am Benderman. Welcome back to The Long Dark, where we are ready for a journey out to Jackrabbit Island. Why are we making so much noise as we walk? All of the clanking and all oh, stupid wind. For a second there, I thought we were completely good. And then suddenly, the wind came along to taunt me. Curing is going well. A couple of 80% there. They might be ready by the time we're back. But yes, uh, I spent the night preparing for a journey out to Jackrabbit Island where we are going to do a bunch of uh, of rabbit snaring. We will have just a quick snack before we go, I think. Also, I checked um, the situation with the house that we're going to be visiting. Unfortunately, it does not have a fire, which is quite annoying, because otherwise we could stay there for days and just endlessly catch rabbits and cook them and build up a food supply. Uh, but alas, we, uh, we'd have to go to one of the, the fishermen's cabins, though there may still be cabins with doors on. I've been told that some have doors and some don't, so if we can find one that does, then we can just do all our cooking in there instead. So I am going to keep hold of the, uh, the wood and such, but it is going to be a little bit more awkward than I was hoping for. So yes, uh, medicine and clothes and such will still be the same. We're just going to grab a little bit of extra food. Of course, this isn't where I keep my food. Uh, and then tools-wise, I think we're good. I don't think my newfound knowledge changes much. Everything is still pretty much the same. Got our snares, a couple of bits of basic kit, um, quite a few tools. We're, we've got quite a bit of weight in those, but we've still got plenty of, uh, of space left. I might take a little bit more food, just because now I know that I won't be able to uh, make use of any rabbit that we harvest while we're over there. And we'll keep all our fire equipment the same as before. Um, why have I kept the crow feathers? I'm going to put the crow feathers away. I think. Why Why do I have... I don't think there's any reason to have them apart from... In case the fridge gets deleted. I'm just going to put them away. It, it, it's, I think it's mostly because it barely weighs anything. But there's really no reason to keep hold of it. I think the same with the lichen as well, that can go too. It was basically no difference, but at some point that could be all the difference we need. And two set of firewood's probably fine, we've still got plenty of inventory space. Right, so I will quickly hop in the freezer, grab a little bit of food. Of course, it doesn't tell me any of the numbers for anything. Why doesn't it do that? I'm just going to grab some beef jerky. And then like some extra water from the fridge to make up for all the extra thirst I'll end up with from uh, eating it. There we go. So yes, we are short by 350 calories. Beef jerky gives you 350 calories. Perfect. We'll eat that and then we will drink some water. We'll see how much we drink. We might have to put some back or something. We drank a quarter of a litre, so we were a quarter of a litre more than before. I'm going to put some back. Because I know we'll end up over encumbered from all the rabbit we're getting, which will hopefully happen. Um, I will put it all back and then transfer out that much, I think was how much it was. Yeah, that, that looks like it lines up. So we've got most of the water we have on us at this point. I'm getting a little worried about that. It is possible, though, that the house will have reset and we'll be able to once again uh, harvest water from the toilets. Uh, we shall see. Right, I will switch to a flare and whoops, and we will see what the situation is outside as regards to the weather and the visibility and such. Uh, that's not great. The wind is going in a good direction, though. Away from the town site. Visibility is fine, though, which is the most important thing. I don't see any wolves from up here. A good sign. I will slightly turn down my volume, but that's gone badly before because I've been talking too quietly without realizing that no one else can hear me, but it's probably, it's probably okay. All right, we will advance. 
try and get as good a view as we can before we take the plunge. Anything out over the lake? I do not see anything. I'm worried that a fog might roll in. That's probably more likely in windy conditions. And that is always very dangerous out on the lake. The lake is great in all other situations. It appears... Ooh, there's a deer. That is a good sign. Friendly animals are always a good sign. Ooh, steady, steady. And off we go. Oh, and there is a wolf, or possibly a bear. It's hard to say. But let's follow this deer. Perhaps we can chase him to Jackrabbit Island. Oh, the angle's all wrong, unfortunately. Or maybe I'll swing around this way, try and drive him that way, because as long as we have him running ahead of us, we can have advance warning of any approaching wolves, as well as... Uh, a distraction for them, which is lovely. So yes, as it currently stands, if a fog were to descend, we can progress directly ahead and we will arrive at the Misanthropes homestead. So that should be fine. I think we've already looked in that fisherman's hut and we did not find anything. Well, let's, no, we did find stuff, we just didn't find a door. So it's already looted. We can check some others. There was a wolf around here, I swear, but now I don't see him. So who knows where he's gone. We are well clear though, so we should be fine. We'll keep moving. I don't know whether the wind pushing against us will slow us down or not. I feel like I'm travelling very slow. I'm not liking this wind. How's my temperature? It is dropping, but only very slowly. We are pretty fine, stats-wise. Oh wow, why am I going so slow? It is the wind, I'm having trouble walking into the wind. So we'll try sort of... What is it called, like tacking into it or whatever? The deer is going too close to that wolf, I'm trying to keep him on the right course. Otherwise we'll have all sorts of trouble. But it's putting me closer to wolves that I know exist. Oops, some crows. Perhaps they dropped feathers where, wherever they came from? Oh. Is that the wind leaving or... the sound effect changing? Who knows? We were approaching this fisherman's hut here. I don't see a door, but... Uh, there's probably stuff in it. Many deer around the place. I wish I had a gun. Or a bow and arrow, that'd be lovely right now. We get so much stuff, there's no wolves for miles, we'd just be able to happily harvest it all without any worry. Oh, soon, soon I will have it, somehow. Right, no wolves around. Yeah, the way they walk on the snow is making a crunching noise that for a moment sounded slightly wolf-like. Alright. We got a stove at- oops. That's not the button. I've completely forgotten all my buttons. Uh, yeah, that's just for making fires. I can't search it or anything. I don't know why I thought I could. Anything on the shelf? Are we higher up than we usually are? I swear we had trouble seeing the shelves before, but now we seem to have a perfectly good angle on them. The stuff here is not searched. This is a good sign. Newsprint. We didn't find very much, but uh, every little helps. I think that's everything. We'll go fishing some other time. Can't remember if I brought my fishing kit or not. Oh, there's a wolf over there. But I guess I can just pick one of these deer and herd him. There's a, yeah, the wolf over there makes me inclined to go this way, but that one's sort of going off the wrong angle. We could herd that one instead. 
wolf is coming this way. Also, there's a fishing hut over there, which I think I've never searched. So perhaps we should visit that on our way. And then maybe on our way back, we'll look at all the other ones. That might make sense. This deer is going in the vague direction of it anyway. We'll try herding him a bit. Though we don't want to get too close to that island because there uh, could be wolves on it. It's always a danger. Keep an eye out. I don't see the deer anymore. He's gone over the hill. That's a deer over there. I thought that the wolf had made surprising progress. Nothing around. I'm going to go over it. Just in case there's something around that we can search. Any dead guys? This is the sort of island I expect to find a random dead guy on. No sign. Where's the deer? Where did he go? He just vanished. Despawned, I guess, or something. I wasn't paying that much attention. Maybe he went in a sudden random direction. Very strange. He could have glitched through the terrain. He could be falling forever or something. That's the thing. Like, the game is, is, has been in development for a long time. Many bug fixes have happened. But uh, because this save file has been going on for so long, well over a year at this point, um... There are probably a lot more bugs in this than any other games that people might start. Because there's only so much you can fix without changing, without like corrupting a save file. And so I don't know what changes have applied and what haven't. I don't really know how the whole thing works, but the fact that this save file has made it through so many... Aha! There is a door! Glorious! Also, a rifle cleaning kit. I guess that improves the uh, the condition of the rifle then. That is excellent. I can't see. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here, but I want to be absolutely sure. By using like two seconds of fuel. Anything down the sides of the drawers? Nope. Not a thing. Extinguish. And we shall what search. We Summit soda, down vest. Is the down vest a new thing? I have no idea. Nothing here. Nothing here. So that was a bit terrible, but the door is fantastic because we can close it and be safe from wolves. However, we will probably need a bedroll because if wolves end up outside the door, uh, that'll be quite bad because we'll not be able to get away unless we sleep and let them wander off. Otherwise, we'll end up dying of tiredness or something terrible being eaten that way. I imagine the door does protect you from wolf attacks. But anyway, that is that. We now know that's there. We know that we can have doors on the fishing huts. And so we have a safe place to cook. That is brilliant news. And now we shall make our way onto Jackrabbit Island and start laying our snares. Lovely vantage point here. The deer are right over there. I've ended up herding none of them in the end. That was a bit of a of a mistake there. I could really do with having one around right now to send up the island and see if anything comes out to try kill it. But uh, this is fairly open. Ooh, ooh, I see crows around the back of the island. That would suggest a corpse of some description. But perhaps we should just lay the snares first. Right, let's harvest this stuff. We'll be able to make even more special bandages. Plenty of it here to go around. There we go. Another group of crows over there. I believe I have looted the corpse in that direction, though. I'm just going to ascend the island and listen out for anything. I probably should have maybe walked around the island first to be extra careful. 
In fact, I may still do that because we know there's some crows around the back of the thing. Might be a good time to wander around there. Excellent. Yeah, I'm going to go back just to be safe. And we'll come around the side of here. See what's going on. Oh, I wonder if the crows are flying through the rock. That'd be interesting. Yeah, no wolf should attack us from here. He'll fall off the cliff and die. As did this guy over here. Actually, he seems to have just sort of walked up here, sat down, given up. It's quite sad. And there is a crow feather! Yes! We're up to six. That is brilliant. Right, hello there. What do you have? Nothing. That's probably why he died. Ironically, there might be other crow feathers, but like, propped up on rocks and stuff. Because the corpse has been here a very long time. Both in terms of... Sort of, I guess, narrative time? And also in, like, actual physical game time. Guess we'll get a good circle round. We should be able to see pretty much the whole island without going too near any uh, wolf hiding places. But yeah, our look with wolves has been pretty good today. I've just barely anything. Oh, more crows. I wonder if the flight, like the mid-flight crows, drop anything. But yeah, very few wolves around, and of course I could be jinxing it and causing horrible wolf-based death to be imminent. Also, it is now starting to snow. Okay, there we go. Look is ended. That is a wolf over there. I can't go that way because he'll see me. I must now go back around the island as the snow descends and the air thickens. Oh dear, I should have just gone up straight up to the house and just gone in the house. Would have been safe, would have been fine. Now I'm in danger. Come on. Let's get back around nice and quick. Before the weather gets any worse. I should have brought a bedroll. I should have thought about it with the whole huts having doors thing. Because I, I, I don't have a bedroll, do I? I didn't bring one. No, there's nothing. Should have brought one. Can't make one. Because, yeah, being able to sleep in the fishing huts is really quite important. Who knows, maybe I, there isn't even enough room in them to uh, to lay down a bedroll. Yeah, the wolf was heading away from the island, so we should be fine. So just go back around this way, ascend the island and get in the house. Fog's getting worse. Maybe I should just have a quick check around the front of the island as well. Now that we are here. The more of an idea of the area we get, the better. Quick look round here. Bit of music. I don't see anything here. I don't see any rabbits either. Where are the rabbits? They better not have all been killed by wolves. There's the house up there. Don't see the wolf. That could be a bad thing. We've pretty much done a full circle of the house now. The island even. Not a rabbit in sight. That's really quite not good. But let's just make it to the house. And go from there. There's even more lichen. Up here. Fantastic. Oh, there we go. Making our way up. You do have decent visibility on the island. It's quite a bit of open space. Which is good. But every little bit of non-open space 
is highly dangerous. All right. Up we go. Switch to a flare, because this is a bit of a risky point. Easy does it. There's the house. Where's the door? Quickly grab those and those. Many of them. All right, let's get in. I think we're good. I just want to make sure I can't see anything. Right, I think we are safe. Let's go inside. I don't know. I heard a bit of a noise there, but let's not even let's not even dwell on that. Right, we have arrived. Uh, let's do a quick check. Oh, it's still searched. Curses. I will do I will, one quick thing, because sometimes updates can make things appear on the doormats, just because they've been reset to the uh, the entrance to the house. Nope. Doesn't seem like anything has been reset, which is a shame, but I'm, it, it would have been cheating if it had in, to a certain degree, so that's all right. It looks like we didn't miss anything last time. Need a hacksaw and such. Yeah, there's a chance that maybe like hacksaws only have, have spawned. I don't know how the rules work for like new items being brought into uh, into old save files. But this seems well and truly searched. Unfortunately. But uh, that is it for today. We will have a quick nap and then tomorrow we will try venturing down to the uh, the edge of the island. Try and find Chris is try and find some uh, some rabbits, set some traps and see if we can start uh, catching and cooking us a bunch more food. So we will extinguish the lantern and we will have ourselves a one hour nap. So I shall say goodbye, thank you for watching and I shall see you next time.